Ring in the new year with Ted's Montana Grill here in Lexington. They have the largest bison menu in the world, along with made from scratch, from scratch plates and craft cocktails. It's on with Brandon Hurst and Zach Grills. Guys, welcome. Thank you. All right. We've got a nice spread here. Bison. <laughs> All right. I can already tell you that a lot of people are like, I don't know about that. Mm. I'm used to my steak. I'm used to my beef. Mm -hmm. What makes bison so different? And, and, and is it better? Or it's amazing. Okay. It's amazing. It's <laughs> Number amazing. one. Number yeah. one. It's amazing. Hands down. It's it's all natural, grass fed, no hormones sure. added, high in omega, more more omega than, than a piece of salmon will have for gotcha. you. Um, it's it's just it's a superfood basically. Sure. It, it, you know, you, it, it it doesn't slow you down like the beef do. Sometimes you mm -hmm. eat the beef, you digest it, feel, you feel a little slow. Oh, yeah. Right. You eat the bison, you get the energy, and it keeps you moving. You're just good to go. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, so it. it's pretty healthy for you. And Delicious. Absolutely. I guess the Sweet answer to my next question is, is that bison are no longer on the endangered species list. Uh, absolutely. Right? No, sir. Yeah, so you, we have plenty of them. And All day. Good. We got enough. Yes, good meat choice <laughs> yeah, for you. Absolutely. Good. Good to hear. So what do we have prepared in front of us? Over here we have our nice slow braised bison short rib and a meat loaf and a hand cut bison delmonico. Wow. Yum. How many how many different ways are there to prepare a bison? And you can do it just the way you prepare any kind of beef. You can really? you, you can make some bison meatballs if you like. Yeah. You know anything, sausage, whatever you want to do. Okay. It's, it's a, you know sky's the limit. Yeah. And what pairs well with bison? Well, with the Delmonico, you're going to want to go with a little bit of a heavier wine. So okay. we recommend our Bison Ridge Cabernet. Mm -hmm. But something uh, like the meatloaf, you might want to go with a Pinot Noir. Okay. So you can, I mean, many different types of mm -hmm. flavor profiles, but also on top of that, uh, not so heavy. In, exactly. In, in yeah. Our most... Delmonico's got the most marbling throughout sure. the steak. So it's going to. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and other cocktails. I see you brought your kit with you. I'm yeah. kind of interested in getting it. It is just about. It is just about. Yeah, so we're celebrating. We're celebrate a little. So we'll go sure. ahead and make a. Right. You all have got some specialty cocktails, so yeah, can you tell us that, about what you're yeah. putting together? So this is our uh, cranberry gimlet. We're going to start off with a little bit of cranberry puree. Okay. Agave. Which is house made. Wow. Lime juice. Okay. And everyone's favorite, Tito's. Oh, Tito's. There you go. All right. Going to shake this up. This drink gets shaken. There you go. There you go. And poured in a martini glass. Okay. Now that's a pretty colorful drink right there. It is pretty. With a oh, wow. lime wedge garnish. Okay. And Looks you've got good. It. Angie, I feel and like. What that's, is that uh, one called? That is the cranberry gimlet. Cranberry gimlet. Yeah, anyone, anyone, that? anyone that likes yeah. a. Uh, yeah, it helps us too. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone that likes a cranberry well. vodka, vodka mm -hmm. cranberry, sure. would love this drink. All right, and I see you brought some bourbon. You have a drink that goes with that yes, as well. Yes, sir. We yeah. have a newly fashioned, it's kind of a new spin off on the old fashioned. Okay. I kind of need to dump okay. this, but um, we'll just set this here. There you go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you're going to want to put a. Orange will in there. Okay. okay. Now bean cherry. Dashes of bitters. All the typical ingredients you'd yeah, put in a and agave. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, once, see that, that once agave everything, is pretty liberal. I, I like that. I like that. Once everything gets placed into the here. shaker, we're gonna muddle everything. Okay. Add a few ice cubes. And and that was the most important part. Ingredient. Can't forget the bourbon. Mm -hmm. We are in Kentucky. Generous pour. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and with go. this drink, we're going to uh, stir. Okay. Not going to okay. shake it. Once everything's been stirred, go ahead and pour over uh, usually a sphere at the restaurant, but uh -huh. we don't have any spheres here. That's okay. And the Thank garnish. We, we need to get those in the break room. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. we've been spirit. petitioning, you man. Yeah, we've been thing. trying. It doesn't go over well. Maybe in the new year. All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go ahead and try fashion. this one. So, you try that one. But regular hours for the holiday, right? Absolutely. Okay, Absolutely. so plenty yeah. of opportunity to get in and check them out. We'd love for y'all to come in and see us. Absolutely. Perfect. Zach, Brandon, thank you all so much. Thank Everyone you get all. out. Check out Ted's Montana oh, Grill location in Lexington <laughs> and Hamburg Pavilion. And for more locations and a look at their menu and specials, log on to tedsmontanagrill.com. Thank you all for being hey, here, thank guys. Thank you all. Thanks Thanks so much. Thanks for having Happy us. Happy New Year. Stick Happy around. Year. Pet of the day coming up.